This is a little video snippet I hope will be helpful for homework 29, the first problem, really. I, actually, we had a student who took this course last year who was going over some of this stuff with us and reminding us, you know, what were some of the things, reminding me what were some of the things that were not clear. And so I put together this snippet. And by the way, if you're ever interested in, you know, helping us, working with us on teaching in the coming times, just come and see us. You know, she's working with us now and getting paid for it. Homework 29-1. I wanted to just elaborate on something that I mentioned in lecture about rigid bodies. If you have a rigid body and you fix some point in it, you know, some point P, then any motion must in fact be looked at as a rotation around P. It's restricted to being a rotation around P. That is, take some point Q. If P is fixed, then Q can only lie really on a sphere, but instantaneously along some effective circle, if it would keep on going, along a circle because the distance between them is fixed. It, that R distance is fixed, so it's just as if this is on a circle. It's rotating around P any of the cues. You know, so their velocities, of course, will depend upon how far away they are. But they'll all be rotating, and they actually all have then have the same omega. That helps us in thinking about rolling without slipping. You know instantaneously the contact point is at rest. Instantaneously its velocity is zero. We saw that with our demo, our little demo with a light on the rim of a wheel. And also, you know, if that thing were not instantaneous rest, that would mean it would be slipping. The contact point would be slipping, and that's contradictory. We're talking about rolling without slipping. Now, any Q then at that instant must be, if that's at rest, then any Q, you know, di the distance between them, it's a rigid body, it's fixed, will be as if it's on a circle. It's on this part of a circle. Maybe only a small part, only an instant part, because the contact point, of course, is changing. But at that instant, it's a circle. All cues move for that instant as if they're on a circle with the same omega. <clears throat> so even though the center mass is moving straight, at that instant, it's as if it's the same as, it, as if it were on a circle tangent to that straight line. That was the thing that the student brought up, was it? How can a circle be a straight line? But instantaneously, it's tangent to that. And so it looks like, right, even in the center, it looks like instantaneously it can be interpreted as a rotation around a circle, a circle around P. And, of course, then any point on here, including the top, will have a velocity dependent upon how far away they are by V equals omega R. So I, I hope that helps.